NASCAR Racing 2003 is 12 years old this year, and despite its age, it is still one of the top stock car racing sims ever made. Even after forums have tried to ruin the gaming community, and mod sites try to make what should be free downloads payware, this game is still the best stock car sim to have, especially when you consider the prices of the other games, and the fact that this game is abandonware nowadays and can be free if you can find the link. But let's move on to the point of this video, shall we? How do we get this aging game to look from this? to this. Now you first want to locate your NASCAR Racing 2003 folder. It is located in the drive that you installed it in. Then click Papyrus, then NASCAR Racing 2003. Find your core INI file and open it. Under File LRU Cache, change the cache size to 14,194,304. Under the title Memory, change your max block size to 524,288 and use the same number for the pool size. Save the file and close it. We next want to locate either your rend underscore dxg file or rend underscore ogl file. If you are running the game in Direct3D, you want to open the rend underscore dxg file, and if you are running the game in OpenGL, open the rend underscore ogl file. In this file, we want to change the anisotropic level to zero. The reason we want these levels off is that the graphic driver changes we make later in the video can run the levels more efficiently than the game itself, which gives us a few more frames to play around with. Then set the texture set size to negative 1. This fixes some of the blurry mess on the cars. Save the file and close it. We next want to go into your players folder and open up the player name folder you use. In my case it would be the Ben Crazy. Open up the player file and locate the graphic options. Here we want to set the car detail to 2, the draw ahead and behind distance to 100, enable car mega shader to 1, and enable shadow volumes to 1. A few lines lower you will see the render speed weight. We want this value to be 0. Under that we want to set the texture quality size to 100. Lastly we want to find your opponent manager title and modify the import textures with compression to 0. This will stop the program from compressing the paints that you import into the game. Now this will only work after modifications, so you will need to import your paints again after the fact if you want them uncompressed. Save the file and close it out. Now at this point we are done modifying the NASCAR Racing folder. I suggest running the game once or twice and then go back to these files and make sure the game didn't change some of the settings as you want to put them back. Next we want to go into your graphic control panel and modify the settings specifically for this game. You can do this by right clicking on your desktop and selecting the graphics control panel. Some control panels will differ in looks, but you should be able to make all these changes I explain. For reference, I am using the NVIDIA control panel. Select manage 3D settings and make sure you select program settings as modifying global settings will mess up with the settings of all your games. Under select a program to customize, search for your NASCAR racing.exe file and click add. We then want to change your anisotropic filter to 16x. Analyzing mode to override application settings. Change the anti-aliasing settings to 16x CSAA, or if you have a powerful graphics card, change it to the max. And set the anti-aliasing transparency to 8x. Then find the maximum pre-rendered frames and change this to 3. Next we want to go down and turn off the texture filtering anisotropic sample optimization. Change the negative LOD bias to clamp. The quality to high quality and turn off Trilinear Optimization. Lastly, we want to turn on Triple Buffering and VSync on. Exit out of the control panel and we're done. So in conclusion, if this video was helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see a more in-depth explanation of the changes that you made and the source for some of these changes, it is linked in the description below. Also, don't be afraid to comment if you have problems with these settings, or if you want to see other videos like this. I am the Ben Crazy, and thank you for watching.